Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jenny. Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I want to do a little bit of a follow me around while doing errands kind of vlog. Um, so I am going to a couple different places. I'm looking for some craft items um, for a project I'm looking at. Um, and I'm also going to go to a place called AC Moore. Um, they are closing um, that whole branch of stores, the whole company. Um, so I've wanted to go there before, but I think the sale was only at that time like 30%. Now they are 60 to 80% off the full store. So I'm going to go there, see what I can find. Hopefully I'll find some goodies. Um, then I also, depending on what I find there, I'm going to go to Michael's. Um, I'm also going to go to Ulta and I'm going to go to Kroger. Um, I might show you guys what I find inside the store, but probably not because I'm really awkward with that. I'll also be on my phone so the quality may not be the best. Um, I also know some stores don't love it when you film inside. So um, yep. Yeah. So I'm excited to have you guys kind of go with me and see what I'll get. I will definitely try and do a haul at the end of it, show you what I did actually find and all right guys, let's get to it. Hey you guys, what's up? Um, Hopefully I've filmed an intro so you know what's happening here. Also, sorry for the crazy lighting. I'm in my car and on my phone, so hopefully quality isn't too terrible. But um, hopefully I've said an intro what's happening. Um, but I'm, gonna, I'm doing some errands, so this is kind of like a day in the life kind of thing. So first stop uh, is AC Moore. This place um, is owned by Michaels, from what I understand, um, but it's going out of business, and the store is finally 50 to 80% off on everything. So there's a project I've been wanting to do. I'm actually going to go to Michaels as well because it's right near here. Um, but I thought I would stop by AC Moore, see if they have anything that's going to fit what I'm wanting to do for the project. Also, I'm hoping maybe they'll have some random like out of season Halloween stuff kind of clearance out seems doubtful um but we'll give it a go um i probably won't film inside just because again the store is closing so if there's one near you who knows if you're gonna find the same kind of selection um but if i do get some stuff i will try and do a haul maybe either at the end of the video or if i'm get stuff specifically for the project i'm going to be working on i'll show you in a separate video um but yeah so uh let's do ac more and then i'll check back in with you once i'm done okay guys so i am done with ac more i was in there for probably an hour at least um if you're like me and you love crafting i get sucked into these places and Sorry, my car is very warm. I'm gonna turn down and make it a little bit cooler in here. But anyway, um, I found some awesome stuff. No Halloween stuff, but I expected that. Um, but I did find a good bit of stuff for the project that I'm doing probably everything I actually need for it. Um, there's a couple of things I'm still needing from Michaels, but they're for something completely different. So I spent um, 32, well, almost $33 total. Um, but again, that's stuff for the project, also just um, other stuff for the house, other little craft projects. Um, really, really pleased with how much stuff I found and all the discounts. So um, again, I spent about 33, but it was, it would have been 95. So pretty good savings. I am very pleased with that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go to Michael's and look for the couple of things I need, and then I have to go to Ulta. Um, I'm looking for a couple of things there, and then Kroger, because I am trying out a new recipe tonight. So um, I will try and uh, show you guys what all I get there later on. I might film a little in stores. Again, we'll see. I'm really awkward about doing that. Um, and some stores also just don't really like it, so we'll see what I find and how I feel. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for what I found. And I will definitely try and show you guys when I get home in better lighting and when I'm not burning up. I should probably just take this jacket off, but it's 41 degrees outside, it's just inside my car. It feels like a million. <laughs> so um, yeah, onward to the next place. All right, guys, so I just finished the final place. I can't remember where I left off, but 
I went to Michael's, got the things that I needed. Um, not as cheap as I would have liked, but they still had a sale and I had a coupon, so better than full price. Um, Ulta, I found what I needed took me forever. Um, this is one of the reasons why I always make a list for those kind of places because, you know, while you're looking for one thing, you get sucked into like 15 other things you want to buy. And when it comes to makeup and arts and crafts, and even like at Kroger, I'm very powerless to fun, pretty, exciting things. <laughs> so I made a list for all these things. Um, also, thankfully, I stuck to it very well. Um, Kroger, not so much. Gosh, grocery stores always get me. I always find something fun that I want to try or, oh, while I'm there, I think of a recipe that would be good, um, which I, I guess is good because then I'm eating at home more than eating out, but it's still, I try to stick to my list best I can. But anyway, done with everything. Um, oh, I'm very warm. I'm going to take my jacket off, but I am going to drive home now. Um, I'll unload and... I will try to film a little bit of a haul, I think, for at least all the stuff I got um, craft-wise. I might do it on the good camera. I might just honestly do it here on my phone because I don't know if I'm going to feel like setting up the tripod and, and all that jazz and lighting. So, um, but yeah, I'm very excited. I found some good stuff. Um, everything that I needed, which is awesome. Um, not much else to say. Okay, I'm gonna drive home and I'll check in with you guys there. All right, guys, so I'm home. I got all my groceries unloaded and put away. Now I thought I would do a little bit of a haul, show you what I got uh, everywhere else. So I guess let's start with AC more because that's where I actually got majority of things. Um, the first huge set of thing I got are all of these little rhinestones. I think they're meant for scrapbooking. I got black, bright blue, light purple, another size black one, a diamond black one, uh, gosh, a light pink, I think two different size orange ones, a small one and a big one. Uh, and like a tiny indigo-y one and then some like shiny clear diamond-y ones for teardrops. So they had all of these buy four get five free. I wasn't planning on getting this many but I figure I could literally get a whole bunch of stuff for free. Um, I, I'll use it. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm hoping to kind of bedazzle one of my Jeffree Star mirrors. I got a pink one in the Valentine's mystery box and I like pink, but it's not necessarily my favorite color. Um, you know, I like girly stuff when it comes to like shiny, but I'm not really big on like pinks. Um, so I thought I would try and like bedazzle it with a bunch of like black and um, like deeper colors to kind of make it more my style. And then for the orange and black, I got one of the Halloween mirrors last fall and it was a black and orange one and I love that mirror. I use it every day I do my makeup and so I thought I might bedazzle it with orange stuff. I wasn't planning on that but again because I was able to get so many of these for free I figure basically it ends up being a free project so why not. Um, I did buy one of these little tools. It's supposed to allow you to like pick up the rhinestones with a sticky tip and then the little claw tip, hope you can see that, <coughs> will help you place them. So, <coughs> that was the big thing I was going for and I was really excited to find it. Um, I did find this little picture frame holder. I'm actually gonna use it to hold my new Bloodlust palette from Jeffree Star, um, cause it's a weird shape. It has a little gold clasp on it that it doesn't allow you to like stand it on its end, so I thought a picture frame holder would be a really fun way to both display it and be able to store it. Um, this was originally I think nine dollars, but I got it for like two bucks, so great, great deal. Sorry, my throat's kind of itchy. <laughs> um, ooh, I got this really fun wooden box. 
all these like cut out like laser cut out vine and flower designs so I thought I would paint that maybe put it on my vanity I did find also this metallic gold spray paint um, my vanity has a lot of black and gold and purple so I thought I would do maybe there's a cat I don't know if you can see Heidi's climbing <laughs> I thought I would do um, probably the edging and the sides and all or the uh, thicker part black and then like the cut out laser part gold I don't know I'm still undecided which part I'm gonna use it for but all of this again was at least 60% off so well worth it. this box ended up being I think two bucks which <coughs> great deal normally like nine nine dollars I think mm, let's see that. Oh, I did get some yarn there again. I wasn't really going in looking for this, but they had all their yarn 80% off. And even though it's kind of starting to be out of season, I, I love yarn. I, I can always stock up on it, especially if it's really good thick stuff. Um, I love the thick, chunky yarn. So I got a big thing of this like turquoise, a more teal one, and then this like fun, like rust colored um i thought these would be a really cool combination so i might try either making something soon or just throw it in my i have a yarn tub because i do a lot of crafts i have a lot of like every craft item um so i might just throw it in my yarn tub and have it for you know next winter or fall when i start um doing some projects i already have really nice good pieces to work with um all of these are 100 percent acrylic so no wool um and they're still really nice thick chunky um soft yarn so very excited to look out on those let's see i think that was actually all from ac more i tried to again stick to somewhat of a list so um next went to michael's and i got some e6000 glue um this will be for the rhinestones i probably already have at least one or two tubes of this somewhere around the house but Honestly, you can never run of this stuff. It's amazing. It it sticks like so well. So definitely don't get it on your fingers. <laughs> but it works really, really well. Um, this was not on my list, but it was so cute. Little tree dude. Little crystal on his staff. I thought it was cute. <coughs> I'll probably put it on my little shelf back there with all my other little garden creatures. I also got this tabletop easel. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully it showed up. I already have one of these for me, but I got one for Craig because we are hoping to maybe do some like craft together kind of things. Um, we watch Jenna Marvels a lot, her and Julie, and do crafting together. I'm like, that would be so cute because I love crafting and I feel like if I set it up for him, he'd be open to doing it too. So um, this was on sale and I had a coupon. So I figured it's worth going ahead and getting. That way we can do it together and set both of our stuff up side by side. Um, I don't know where they went, but I did get two poster frames. Um, one is for a 30 Seconds to Mars poster um, that I have from when I went to camp in 2018. And the frame for it broke last year um, during the move, and I just haven't gotten it replaced or tried to fix it. So I got a new one of those, and then I got a really big one for a 18 by 24 poster um, of a Jake Monroe poster I got. So he just came out with some new merch. Definitely check it out. I'll try and link his page down below as well. Um, but I, I got one of those posters, and I wanted a really cool frame for it to put um, up in the office. I think that is all from those. Okay, Ulta. So like I said, I stuck to my list really well. I'm very proud of that. I went in looking for this cleansing balm. I really hope that's focusing. I don't have a viewfinder in the front, so um, it's Derma E and it's a cleansing balm and it's supposed to be able to take off your makeup dry. So like you can literally just have your makeup, put this on, rub it in, um, and it kind of just goes ahead and breaks it down. And then what you have to do is like rinse it off or take a warm wet washcloth and wipe it all off. I have one very similar from a different brand and I absolutely love it. So I wanted to try it. This one is cruelty free and vegan. 
Um, so I thought I would give it a try. It wasn't too expensive and it's a massive jar so I feel like this is going to last me a long time. And then last thing is uh, this NYX mascara, the Worth the Hype really hope that's focusing again <laughs> but this is like my go-to mascara um their stuff majority of or all of it um as far as i know is cruelty free um not all of it's vegan this one unfortunately is not but i found it works really really well um there i have found some vegan and cruelty free mascaras that i like but they are a bit out of my budget for an everyday kind of use so this one i feel like at least it's cruelty free um, and it does work really, really well. So NYX products are awesome. Um, and then some things that I got actually at Kroger, but they kind of fit the beauty thing, is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Um, this is a setting spray I've been using for probably about a year. And the bottle I have now is, is almost empty. So I thought I would go ahead and get another one. They had it on sale. And this one is... I believe vegan and cruelty free. Um, this stuff works really, really well. It's supposed to keep it on for your makeup on for 16 hours. Um, I don't know that your skin really needs it to keep it on for 16 hours, but if you needed to, I've had great success with this and it lasts really well and it helps to mattify down, especially if you have powders um, or setting powder. This really mats everything down and it holds it in place for sure. And then these two things, my cats are fighting. I'm sorry if you can hear that. Silly girls. Um, last two things I got are some little hair clips. Um, these are just more neutrals. This one, the front is more neutrals. And then I noticed the back has like some purples, blues, silvery pink stuff. Um, I got these just because um, I'm growing my bangs out. So I either have to like twist them back in here and like clip it or I just pull them over to the side and clip them especially for work um, having them in my face now they're a little bit longer but they're not like long enough to just stay st side back or stay back all the way on their own um, clips have been really helpful so I got some of these and it definitely has me rocking like the 90s little clips bangs do do you guys ever do that do you remember that every time I do it I'm like oh my gosh I feel like my 16 year old self well no I wasn't 16 in the 90s but I was 15 so it reminds me of my middle school self, I'll say that. Um, but these were cool, and it's a massive package on them, so I thought that these will last me a while. And then the last thing I got, um, again, wasn't on the list, but that is sale going. These Real Techniques sponges. Um, I honestly use these. I've never actually used the Beauty Blender brand because they're too expensive for me. That's $20 for one sponge, and this was like... I think eight or nine dollars for two which still sounds expensive but these things last a while and they work really really well at least for me um so i was excited to find those but that's everything i got um i thank you guys for joining and following me along this i will try and film my cooking recipe we're doing um or or try and do um these like Italian sausage meatballs, but it's all vegan, um, but with pesto in it. I saw a Jamie Oliver video where he was doing that, and I was like, I can veganize this. I'm, I'm gonna try this. So I got all the stuff to try that. So I'm gonna try and do those, and then put them on like a sub bun with like some Miyoko's mozzarella and melt it all down, and should be ooey gooey deliciousness. I will maybe do a video if I can figure out the lighting in the kitchen. It's kind of an awkward angle in space. If not please definitely check my Instagram. I will um, for sure put out photos there. Um, Instagram is just Jen Fox. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for following me around today. Um, and I'll try and update you on the crafts as I do those as well. Um, but hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please definitely give me a like, um, thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. I do hope to do more of these. Again, I had a good time with it. So Thank you guys again. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.